What's going on, Facebook? YouTube? Um, I know that um, a lot of you probably heard about this story. But um, I just wanted to bring awareness to it. Um, and um, I'm going to make this a part of the racist white supremacy um, uh, playlist. Because uh, I, I'm going, I'm going to leave the story in the description box. Um, I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to read it. But I just wanted to to share with uh, with you guys my position on the um, the election in uh, Ferguson. Now this is um, uh, Mother Ella Jones. And she was she was going to make history as um, Ferguson's first uh, black mayor. Now, a lot of people are going to say that uh, that they're bringing awareness to this story simply simply because of the Mike Brown incident. This this goes so much deeper. This goes so much deeper than. Uh, Mike Brown. This, this, um, I don't know if any, I don't know if you guys got the, um, the same newspaper article that we had got down here in Shreveport, but we had a, um, a newspaper that published a story that was talking about, um, uh, how Ferguson, of uh, their, um, uh, there's there's statistics on um systemic racism you know um towards um between police and the uh black and white citizens and in that um in in and in those statistics base that those statistics basically showed that um Ferguson is 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 basically rife with racism. Ferguson is also a predominant conservative city. Okay? So this is why I have to bring awareness to this story the way that I'm bringing it. Short, simple, straight to the point. Ferguson did not want a black person in the mayor's seat. For, for for conspiracy reasons why I don't know um, someone who looks at things a little bit deeper than me concerning politics could have the answer but as far as I am concerned conservative Ferguson did not want a black person sitting in the, in the mayor's seat not in the conservative um, um, city like that, not with, you know, the 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 memory of Mike Brown still lingering around, you know, uh, but it's just a it's just a racist city, and it's not the only one. You see what I'm saying? Um, here in Shreveport, we've uh, matter of fact. We we we're, we're under our second our second black uh, mayor. Um, the first one was Cedric Glover, which was uh, a few years a few years ago. I think he served. I think he served two terms. Uh, but you know, and right now we're under uh, Mother Ali Tyler, Ali Tyler. Uh, and she would be the first black female uh, mayor that we that we have here in Shreveport. Um, I can't I can't really tell you. You know the position of Shreveport because is is very confusing, and you really have to you really have to be looking for it because it's so. Uh, subliminal uh, the racism here 
and until you go to the uh, the other side of town, like Yuri Drive and places like that. But um, we we didn't have a problem. Uh, you know, the white people here didn't have a problem electing you know black mayors. You know, so why is it in Ferguson that you have someone who's more than qualified for the position and she's not elected to that position? And the way that they, the way that I heard the story being swung, they were trying to swing the story in the direction of the uh, the the mayor right now. Uh, let's see, um, James Knowles. They're saying that the people felt more comfortable the way that I'm receiving it. I haven't read an article, but the people feel more comfortable under his uh, leadership or his guidance. Right? So, I, I don't, I'm not sure if this is the first time a black person ran. I don't know um, if I'm completely clueless concerning the politics in Ferguson. But one thing I do know for certain is that Ferguson is is a conservative dump uh, uh, is dominated by conservative conservative ideology. Um, now I had to look up um, James Knowles and his um and his political position in Ferguson. Now, I want you to I want you to check this out. Now, this is why uh, K. Reno says that Republicans and Democrats, those words are synonyms. They mean the exact same thing because in politics, they can switch. They can switch. Um, I heard. I haven't researched it uh, yet, but Hillary Clinton, as a matter of fact, the Clintons, period, were Republicans, are Republicans, but they operate in politics as Democrats. Now, I don't know if that's if that's 100 percent accurate, but if you guys have heard that, and you know, if it's not right, let me know down in the comments. But check this out about this James Knowles character. Um, says uh, based on Wikipedia um, Noel served on the Ferguson City Council prior to becoming mayor wait a minute is this where I want to uh, no 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 this is where I want to read Knowles is a former chairman of the Missouri Young Republicans okay Knowles was a, uh, a staff member for former Missouri State Senator and Democrat Ted House. Okay, the the significance in in playing both the Democrat position and the Republican position. That also means that you're switching between ideologies as well. You're switching between liberal ideology and conservative ideology. But I haven't read the article. Um, I don't know. You know what's going on, and I and I promise you, I promise you that this this sisters, our, our this mother, our elder, she was turned down because of the Mike Brown incident. That's exactly why she why this position was turned down for this black for this black woman, and. Um, that is something that we have to we have to acknowledge things like that as a people that this country is not ready for change when when all those white people who elected Barack Obama elected or voted for Barack Obama like they it, it wasn't because he was black okay they looked at some of his political ideals and they just ran with it 
and they didn't want no old ass John McCain. <laughs> okay, you know the same thing goes for um the the last guy that Barack Obama ran against. Okay, but we see through through this um through this election the racist white supremacy rate the racist white supremacist is Ferguson Missouri the the white people that did not want this elder to be in the position as mayor okay now she can run again possibly you know, in the next, um, I think, I think mayors serve, uh, serve, uh, eight years, six years. Um, I think, I, I think, I know they run long, they serve longer than presidents do. Their term is longer than the president's term. But, you know, she can run again. And I, and I hope that she runs again. Matter of fact, not only do I want her to run, but a few black politicians to run in uh, you know, in that, and and they give us the story. Then I want to, I really want to be looking forward to that story during, you know, for the the next Ferguson election because Ferguson is already shown as true. Because matter of fact, the I'm pretty sure that the logic behind it, even if they, even if they said no, we don't want her in in, in office because she's black. The reason behind that, you know. Yes, it's it's Mike Brown, but it's what happened after the Mike Brown incident. It was the whole hands up, don't shoot controversy. Did did he did he say that or not? No one was there to um to corroborate uh that's that uh you know that story. But the friend of Mike Brown, if any, if we're supposed to believe anybody, if we're just basing things off hearsay. Then we should be believing Mike Brown's friend. Um, but on another note, you know, um, now nah, I'm not gonna say that in this video. But let me let me know what you guys think about this. You know, um, let's talk about it down in the comments. Like, share if you if you you know you're new to the channel. Uh, subscribe. You know, check out the content. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.